Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the background or wallpaper on your Xbox Series X. This is easy to do. So just by default, if you change the game, it's going to change the wallpaper. But we can go up to the settings right here, and then go to general, and go to personalization, and then go to my background. Then you can pick a solid color as a background. So if you just want a blue background, you have the option. Otherwise, we can go to achievement art right here. And then we can pick a game. So let's go to Destiny, and then we can go to Progress, and we can see the achievement art, just the screenshots here. You can go to it, so you can set this image as the background. If we continue to go on down, set as background. So you can do this with any achievement art, any kind of like achievement that you unlocked. That's actually a cool thing that ha they have on the Xbox. So let's go back. Then we can do a custom image if we have a USB stick plugged in. Or maybe if we have some images on our Xbox that we can use somewhere in some of these folders like uh, downloads or something like that or pictures. So we can go to here. The folder's empty. Then I have my USB device plugged in. I have Xbox captures. I can select the image under here. Set as a background. So let's go back. Then we have screenshots. And this is just stuff you took as screenshots on your Xbox. So you can choose an image under here. And then we've go back we have dynamic uh, screenshots or dynamic backgrounds so let's go to personalization my home my background right here and then the feature one will be over here for whatever month it is and then games um, we have all the games for the dynamic backgrounds F1 so you can kind of look at it Call of Duty right here Modern Warfare 3 uh, I mean, it kind of moves up and down. You can see it's moving. Looks cool. Here's what Diablo. I wish I would have played this game more. So you can see it's moving. Then we have the Xbox ones. And then you have a bunch of colors and stuff there for wherever that the thing is. Here's the Xbox 360. That's probably the best one, right? Then we can go to Abstract. So you can look through these dynamic themes and just see if you like any of them. So this one's kind of cool. If this is the default one, but I don't know, I like that one enough where I don't need to change it. The PlayStation 4 had a great, like, um, backgrounds kind of user interface and stuff. I liked all those. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your 6 Tech.